so beautiful called family. So I ask you now, what pieces are we carrying? What pieces are we trying to navigate and force and fix and just so it just stays? Are they our health? Are they our finances? Is it identity? Is it getting to know Jesus more? Is it balancing life, friendship, friends? Is it just complete havoc? Is it the fear of the unknown pieces that can come to shake it all up again? I feel like Jesus is saying, and we've all heard it before, but really, really focus on this, that when we keep Jesus at the center and we place him as the first piece of our puzzle. Oh, the Lord, where is the soul refreshing view of Jesus and his word? The dearest idol that I have known, what ear the idol be, help me to tear it from the throne and worship only thee. Come on. Remember there was a time in our life when we had nothing but we could worship. And when we had little, I feel like talking, and we could worship. Come on, somebody. You were happy to run out of your house uh, to go into a place of worship. But now that God has blessed us, uh, we become complacent. But I hear the word of God. He's saying if we're going to see the glory of God uh, coming back to the church, uh, we are going to have to renew our halters. When they that worship me yes. must worship me. Yes. Come on, worship me how? In spirit yes. eh? and in truth. Yes. It's not time to be cute about worship. Oh, you're not talking to me now. This is not time to be cute. I managed to go in the labor ward with my wife before and I see other people around. And when a woman is about to give birth to a baby, can I preach the way I feel it? You help me now. There is no time to be cute. She doesn't care whether our mascara run up or run down. She doesn't care whether the wig stay in or it get off. All I know, baby girl, can I preach the way I feel it? I've been carrying this thing in me now for nine months. And right now what I want is to push this child out of me. You're not talking to me. She don't care. Hey man, who is in the ward? All she knows is get this thing out of me. I've come by to tell you that when it comes to worship, there's no time to be cute. It's time to lift our hands. It's time to Your mouth and 